Hello dear students today i will give you notes of evs before that i'm suppose that you all have completed your work till chapter 6 and started learning the question answers also of all the chapters so let's start chapter 7 sources of water question answers and exercise part first of all the exercise part a question take write the correct answers first is it is the main source of water on earth a lake b pond and c rain the correct option is c rain is the main source of water on earth second is irrigation channels carry water from the rivers to the farmers a crops b home c go down they carry water from river to farmers crop so its correct answer is option is a crops third it is a simple and effective way of purifying water at home a freezing b boiling c evaporation so its correct answer is b boiling next question b is fill in the names of the rivers on which these dams have been built first is the bhakra nagal dam is built on the river satluj which is in punjab second is the nagarjun sagar dam which is built on river krishna in andhra pradesh third is the farakha barrage uh, this barrage is built on the river ganga and it is in west bengal but no need to write their uh, city names just write the river on, name of the river only now the question answers in notebook first of all write the today's date and chapter number 7 sources of water its name then put heading answer the following questions question number 1 why is finland called the land of a thousand lakes so the thousand of lakes in finland are the reason of the country's called land of a thousand lake because there are having thousands of lake in finland a comparison of the number of lake with its population reveals that there is one lake for every 26 fins it means that one lake is equal to 26 fins means people 26 peoples of finland question number 2 is what are the main sources of water answer is there are three main sources of water first is rain second is surface water and third is underground water now question number 3 is what is hydroelectricity and how it is produced so answer is many dams harness the energy of falling water to generate electric power and this type of electricity is called the hydroelectricity and the most common type of hydroelectric power plant uses a dam on a river to store water in a reservoir water release from the reservoir flows through a turbine turbine is kind of blades spinning it which in turn activates a generator to produce electricity so by this pr process whole process uh, we the electricity is produced and uh, generated by the dams and its turbines spinning process now question number 4 is what do you mean by rain water harvesting so answer is during the rainy season rain water is collected in tanks or ponds this rain water is also collected on roofs of buildings and allowed to flow into a deep hole dug in the ground area and this complete method we called the rain water harvesting or conserving the rain water and this collected water in tanks or pond is used for irrigation during the dry season and conserve during the rainy season and while used in the dry season when there is no water and uh, with this question you have to make a diagram also of rain water harvesting on the left side of the notebook on the blank sheet the diagram i will show you in the next slide okay now the question number 5 is why are dams called multi purpose projects its answer is 
dams are called multipurpose projects because it hold water for drinking crop irrigation and flood control that's why we call dam is a multipurpose projects so children this is the diagram of rainwater harvesting and you all have to draw and well colored with the, the question number 4 okay and color it with uh, pencil colors or crayons only and draw this neat and clean diagram in front of question number 4 where you all where you have described the rainwater harvesting okay so i hope you all have understood this so complete this work and learn it also thank you and have a nice day